I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions on limits at infinity. Now in this series you'll find um, three four questions where we have taken different degrees of numerator and denominator and we have generalized the rules. Here we need to find limit as x approaches minus infinity for x to the power of 4 divided by x cubed plus x squared plus 1. Now what you notice here is that degree of numerator is higher, right? So numerator degree, which is 4 in this case, is higher than the denominator degree, right? In rational functions, whenever that is the case, denominator degree in this case is 3, right? The highest power of the polynomial. In that case, we expect that limit as x approaches, whether it is approaches positive or negative infinity for the rational function as, uh, as uh, positive or negative infinity as the case may be, but you can say it does not exist because going infinitely large, right, could be positive or negative depending on the scenario perfect so that is what is a general rule and here we'll see how right so let's solve this so the question before us is limit x approaches negative infinity x to the power of 4 divided by x cubed plus x squared plus 1 now in the denominator we can take x cubed common right? so we could write this as limit x approaches minus infinity we have x to the power of 4 over well i could have changed this question and written for example some number right let me write this it helps to explain my method better okay okay so let me write this so i just changed this a bit it doesn't really matter but it will help me to explain uh, the method okay so the denominator is x cubed plus x squared plus one steps involved are like this take this common right so we have x4 take it common so we're left with 1 plus 5 over x to the power of 4 correct now in this case denominator take x cube common so we're left with 1 plus uh, 1 over x right 1 over x x squared divided by x cube plus 1 over x cube perfect now as you can see if x is approaching large infinity then this term 5 divided by a large number will approach 0 and these terms also will approach 0 right that is important to understand right so what we have here is limit x approaches negative infinity you can simplify this and you get x times 1 plus 5 over x to the power of 4 and here you get 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x cubed now if x is approaching negative infinity, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. So what do you get? You get actually limit. We are saying x is approaching negative infinity. And these things are 0, right? These things are approaching 0. So you basically get x. So negative infinity means it is approaching negative infinity. Do you see that? So, so the value of the function does not approach any real value right so in this case at times when you're working with horizontal asymptotes this is reference to horizontal asymptotes uh, you will find that there is no horizontal asymptote so horizontal asymptote will not exist for this condition as the function is not approaching a fixed value so we also find limits uh, approaching to infinity positive or negative to sketch the graph and to see if there is a horizontal asymptote or not so that's an important application and that's why i've given you this reference on the side so you may use it soon right that's the whole idea but anyway i think you've understood the process so the idea is just factor out the highest degree of x from both numerator and denominator cancel whatever you can and then see for a high value what happens and you'll get your result so that could be adopted for any rational function for which you want to find limits at positive or negative infinity i'm anil kumar and i hope 
this standard method helps you to solve all the questions. Thank you and all the best.